The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up Telnet access to configure the VTY lines so that uh, we will be allowed to Telnet. So we're going to do this on router A first. Now you notice that uh, we are at the uh, enable mode and we need to be in the configuration mode. If you remember, we're going to have to type config terminal and you can just abbreviate it to config t. So now you notice that uh, we have the config in parentheses. So now we're going to type line VTY zero space four. So we're configuring line zero to four. So th that enables us to configure five lines at one time. Press enter. Now you notice that the the words in within the parentheses have changed from config to config dash line. And what we want to do is um, to use uh, username and password, and we need to type login local. Login space local. Press enter. and we exit. That takes us back from the line configuration back to the global config mode. And now we're going to configure the username and the password. So we're going to type username. The username is Banbury. And the password is going to be CCNA. So we're assigning a username with the name of Bambury and assigning the password CCNA to that particular user. We press enter. And now we're going to enable the password. So we're going to say enable secret, and the secret is going to be the word Cisco. Press enter. Now we're going to configure the static routes on router A. So the first route we're going to configure will be IP route and the IP number of the network that we want to uh, route It'd be 172.30.00 with a, a mask of 255.255.0.0 and we get there through 192.168.1.2 Ah, okay, so I made a mistake uh, and I'm going to need to delete that last uh, dot right here so I correct it press enter and now I'm gonna set the next uh, route so let's review what we have done so far we named the router we configure the serial interface with uh, IP 
in the mask we configured the loopback 0, loopback 1 then we configure telnet access and we enable the password the next step is we're going to configure the static routes on router A so we need to be at the uh, config prompt right now you notice that we are at the user prompt so we need to write the word enable or just abbreviate EN it's asking us for the password it, in order to configure we need to config terminal and then we assign the route so it's a uh, IP so it's a route to 172.30.0.0 space to separate the IP number from the mask the mask is 255.255 .255 point zero point zero and how do we get there we get there through 192 168 1.2 and the next route is IP route 172.30.0.0 Zero dot zero space to separate the IP number from the mask. The mask is two fifty five point two fifty five point zero point zero space. And how do we get there? Also, we get there through one ninety two one sixty eight one point two. Press enter. the next step we're going to configure the same commands that we've done that we did on router A we're gonna do it with router B so we are done with the router A for now we're gonna change the screen to my hyper terminal that's connected to router B so I select it to bring it to the front press enter okay so if you remember when you see the greater than sign that tells you that you are at the um, first level the user level and we need to get into the enable mode so write the word enable or you can just abbreviate to EN press enter and we're going to give it a name from router to router B so we're gonna do configure terminal and we're gonna give it host name router B you notice that the name has changed immediately to router B and we're going to configure the uh, interface uh, the serial interface and we're gonna assign an IP address to the serial interface and that would be IP address 192 dot one sixty eight dot one point two with a space and then the mask two fifty five point two fifty five point two fifty five point two five two 
press enter and we're gonna bring it up with the command no shutdown press enter I could just wait and see the the message and you, you notice that uh, it, the, st the status has been changed to up Now we're going to configure the loopback. So we're going to put interface loop back zero, and we're going to give it an address. And that will be IP address one seventy two dot thirty dot 1.1 with a space and a mask of 255.255.0.0 and we're going to configure loopback number one with an IP number so we issue the command interface loopback one press enter and we're going to give it the IP address IP address 172.31.1.1 with a mask of 255.255.0.0 and we finish with a control Z to get us out of the configure interface and bring us one level out so let's uh, let's take a look at what we're doing so far so we configure router A 